universe is not alone. It is but one of infinite worlds. Well, DC Universe is, is awesome to begin with. You know, all kinds of characters that everybody knows and loves. And then we're also kind of taking a, an interesting twist on it as well from the DC multiverse, kind of Elseworlds that DC's created over the years. So not only do we have Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman and Green Lantern, but we have their sort of multiverse variants. So we have Batman, but we have Nightmare Batman, who's a vampire. Or we have Batman from Gotham by Gaslight, which is a kind of like steampunk turn of the century world. Or we have a post-apocalyptic world. So you've got uh, atomic Wonder Woman who runs around with a chainsaw on the end of a big pole. So yeah, it's, it's really cool and Endless. And for a MOBA, it's perfect because your team is going to have all these really, really cool, recognizable, but you know, different kind of characters on it. We start from sort of who is that character to begin with, right? I mean, Superman, is, there's certain things about Superman that just are Superman. There's certain things about Batman that, that are Batman. Same with Wonder Woman, all the major characters. And so you need to start from there. Um, Joker's very specific. You know, he's, he's, he's a Joker, right? So a lot of his attacks are naturally, you know, things like, uh, he, he throws a giant baby doll at you that explodes or he gives you a present which blows up in your face and you know giant chattering teeth start attacking you and things like that. So we start from who they are and then we tend to boil it down to you know the characters generally have two or three or maybe more aspects of them. We pick the one that we think is best for the kind of gameplay that we need and then we accentuate that. Right? So is, is this a person that's going to be playing a role of a ranged character? Are they going to be a tank? Are they going to be a bruiser? You know, and then how does that fit with the various personalities? And then we match them up. And because we're taking that approach, I think DC's been you know, uh, pretty happy with the way that we're bringing the characters to light. It feels authentic to them. A fearless test pilot turned guardian of the universe, the Green Lantern manipulates his surroundings with the power of his ring. Green Lantern is a ranged blaster with massive AoE damage and poke, as well as great single target power and kiting potential. The MOBA itself is a very sort of action-oriented kind of game, so the story is really a wrapper, you know, to help provide why am I have these universes, why are these characters coming from different universes and everything. So it's a pretty simple story. Um, the universes are all colliding with each other. Everything you know is about to fall apart, and so heroes and villains have decided to kind of band together for a short while to restore order, and then they'll go back to killing each other. And so you have been chosen as a protector uh, of this Earth or the many Earths that you're protecting, and you have to pull these teams together and bring them into battle and try to put things back the way they were. So you get five people on a team, and I get five people on a team. We go into a battle arena, and we fight for control of different parts of the map. And ultimately, one side wins, one side loses. And uh, it really depends on the type of map, but it's all about how I take my skill as a player with all my teammates and you take your skill as players and we basically fight it out. It's really like a sport on a battlefield. MOBAs are all about the different types of skills and power sets that you have, and so when you're dealing with characters like these, they just lend themselves to it. You know, now I'm playing Batman and all the things that make Batman who he is, but I'm also a vampire. So my, you know, my ultimate skill as uh, Nightmare Batman is I jump up on top of you and bite your neck. So, which is something that you don't expect to be able to do in the DC world. But he still, you know, uses his gadgets and does the kind of things that you expect from Batman. So yeah, it's actually really, really fun. A feral hunter ravaging his opponents and laying waste to the battlefield before him, Nightmare Batman has joined the fray. Nightmare Batman is an energy-based melee hero with great chasing potential who can lock down opponents for his team to devour. A catastrophic event is like a, um, it's not random because you know it's coming. In fact, we make a big point of making sure that everybody in the map knows when it's coming. In the case of what people are playing in beta right now, the catastrophic event is a big meteor that's sort of escaped from another universe and comes crashing into the map sometime during the course of the uh, gameplay experience. And that means that your team could be winning, but now my team has an opportunity to kind of catch up a little bit if we know how to take advantage of this event. So it's, it's, it's really fun because it adds that kind of element of, uh, of change to the map. MOBA is all about your skill. So, you know, playing any kind of competitive game, any kind of game is really satisfying when you can get better and better and better. And these games are so focused on 
your skill. You know, it's really like learning a new sport. You know, and in fact, these games are sports now, as big as you know some of the major sports out there. You know, if you've ever gone to any of these competitive events or watched them streaming online, it's uh, it's becoming no different than watching you know a football match or anything. And so, uh, so we think it's a huge opportunity for players to play and participate and compete and get better and show off, and also for players to watch. You know, spectating these things is a, is a whole experience in itself. So that's pretty unique, and I think that's part of why the game genre is catching on so much.